What is up guys? Today we are going to be playing a uh, couple random horror games. I just finished the uh, playthrough of Dread Out a couple nights ago, so I wanted to just kind of like do a couple quick short horror games before I figure out what um, full length one I'm going to play next, like the next series or whatever. Um, I got a fancy little border around my face cam, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to start the video with a game called Death Circus. This game is free to download, um, it's on Steam, and it is an early access, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, basically, the only thing I know about this game is you are a young girl that sneaks out of her house to go to this circus that's in town, and there's a killer clown that is uh, trying to kill you. So, let's jump right in and see what it's about. Okay, I was hoping there was controls because um, the settings didn't work and there's no controls on the Steam page, but it looks like it's going to give it all to us right here, so uh, simple enough. Alright, press E to take the ticket. Enjoy the circus. Well, thank you. I'm pretty sure if I was a little girl sneaking out of my house and the first person I saw was this guy, I'd probably just turn around and go home. Hold shift to run. Okay, I got a stamina bar. So I can't run for an unlimited amount of time. Oh, here we go. Please use the other way to reach the tent. What other way? Did I miss something here? And I am locked in. Okay. What other way? Okay, so that was weird. So, this didn't open up until I pressed E to interact with it. Press left to toggle crouch. Okay. Sorry, I don't play with mouse and keyboard much, so I had to look where the control button was. No trespassing, you may get in, but good luck getting out. Um, yeah, second warning. The first warning was a creepy ass clown, the second warning is the blood trail. Uh, this little girl has to be pretty damn stupid. Okay, and there's body parts and uh, body bags, so... That is not a good sign. Can I pick up this lantern instead of using these shitty glow sticks? World news. Serial killer strikes again. In the past month, there have been several reports of missing young, young women with blonde hair. Some of their bodies were found under the... Okay. Police are strongly against going out alone during the night to unsafe neighborhoods or locations like theaters, circus, or similar places. If you encounter any special... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just trying to read, man. All right, let's read this. In the past month, there have been several reports of missing young women with blonde hair. Some of their bodies were found under the Clayman Bridge. The rest of the bodies have, haven't been identified yet. The faces of all the victims were rearranged and painted to look like a clown. Police are strongly against going out alone, especially during the night, to unsafe neighborhoods or locations like theater, circus, or similar places. If you encounter any sus suspicious person or find yourself in danger, call 911 immediately. Okay, so this is where we should be uh, dialing 911, don't you think? That's where I came in, okay. More body parts. Oh shit! Ah! What? <laughs> I just got insta-killed. <laughs> I couldn't even turn around. It, like, locked me in. I tried to turn around, and I was locked in. All right. Here's your ticket. Thanks. 
Alright, what's my... Ob I guess I just follow the arrow. I don't really have an objective. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit! Damn, he instant kills you, too, so you just totally can't get caught. Alright, so I'm wondering if I should, uh, crouch? Like, is the AI smart? Will it, will he hear me if I, uh, if I'm, like, running and shit? Should I crouch through this whole thing? So this is the way I need to go. Right back here. Okay. Does he have a, uh, thing on the map. I'm just, I feel like I'm focusing real hard on the map. I don't know what I just picked up. So far, so good. No clown yet. I don't know what those are. Okay. So... I don't know if there's like any indicator on uh, the clown being near or not, but I'm I'm keeping an eye on the map. Shit. Okay, we got away. Okay, so theoretically he should be back behind me then. What was I getting? Fuses? Uh, what? The fuck does it mean I was too loud? I was making no noise. I was crouched the whole time. God damn it. Okay. Don't see me. Oh, come on. No. No. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm going to give it uh, one more go. Here's your ticket. Thank you. Enjoy the circus. I'm going to give it one more go. Um, see if we can get get to the end of this little demo here not that I'm not enjoying it uh, it just I feel like they should uh, I know this is early access and everything I'm not gonna complain or you know anything like that 
I just think that maybe even though this is like early access like short demo type material um, I feel like they should put a checkpoint because I feel like I was pretty close to beating it right there and you know now I have to start over so kind of sucks but all right so I feel like I should crouch because when I was sprinting he pretty much found me immediately so Okay, so I gotta pick up the fuses. There's one. Damn it. All right. I know I said I was going to only give it one more go. I'm going to give it one more one more go, okay? Just because I don't like putting games down without finishing them, whether it's uh, like a demo or not. <laughs> he wasn't even there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he wasn't even there that time. Uh, where's the entrance? Okay. So it looks like it bugged out on me there. All right, guys, so um, we didn't finish it clearly, uh, but I think we got a good idea what this game's gonna be about. Um, so far, I think it I think it was all right. Um, it, looks, it looks good, the graphics look pretty good, and um, the idea could be cool. I think they just need to flesh out some of the details a little bit more. Um, like I said, I could have just not seen it at all, but I, I didn't notice an indicator on you know when the clown saw you or if you were getting close to him or anything like that um, I also think if it's gonna be like that where you're in a maze and uh, you pretty much can go around the corner and run straight into the clown that he shouldn't instant kill you I feel like he should uh, I, I feel like you should take like two or three hits that way if you do go around the corner and he's right there you don't just you know you're not just instant dead you can still have a chance to get away and also um if the developers end up watching this i don't know if you will or not but if you do um even though it's in early access i think you should throw in a you know a checkpoint or two in there if possible uh just because you know i got so i got through the maze without being noticed I got to the fuse box then I picked up all three fuses um, got to the first fuse it told me I was too loud I got to the uh, second maybe it was the lights or a different fuse box um, and then ended up dying there but if I had a checkpoint somewhere around that area I would have been more inclined to keep playing it until I finished the demo um, so it's just a suggestion like I said I'm not gonna be too hard on this it is an early access so uh, from what I've seen so far it looks pretty decent and I'll probably keep an eye out for when the full game comes out and I might play it on the channel so to the next game hey guys so uh, quick edit on death circus um, 
I moved my face cam up to the top left because I had a feeling that like I was going to be blocking subtitles and stuff while playing through some of these games. And when I moved it up there, Death Circus actually had a map up in that upper left hand corner behind my face cam. Um, basically, it just showed you where the objectives were. It didn't show you where the killer clown was or anything like that. It was a basic map of the maze that showed you where you where you needed to go basically but that's all it was all right guys so this game's called the cabin um it's available on the itch.io website under the horror tag um tis the season right it's a christmas horror game or it seems to be and this game was made in two days for game jam 2020 and it's basically from what i grasped it's uh you come to a family christmas get together and your family is missing so uh let's jump into it press f to interact all right what am i interacting with What's it wanting me to interact with? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? All right, uh, okay, so I need four keys, it looks like. So I guess when I, um, interacted with the Christmas tree, a key fell out. I heard it jingle, but I, I didn't know that's what it was. Cool. Bathtub full of blood and a shower full of blood. So somebody must have been in the bath and somebody must have been in the shower at the same time and the snowman came in here and killed them both. What? <laughs> Did I get the last key? I don't think I did. No, I need one more. Well, I would assume it would be in that room, right? Because there was a key in here, a key in there. Alright, well, where is it at? Oh, there it is. I got all four keys. All right, we got some presents here. We got a, ooh, that's not fun. <laughs> you suffered the same fate as the rest. The box awaits you. Okay. So that was a quick little game. I'm gonna run back through it and see if, uh, if I could interact with the boxes before I do the knife. Hey, snowman. All the keys are in the same spot. Oh, God, that kind of got me. I even knew it was coming. Where was the other one at? Was it in the toilet? Yeah. Okay. We won't miss the jump scare this time. There he is. Come on. Oh, okay. I was think I'm an idiot. I was thinking it was in the lantern. It's actually in this drawer. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. All right. Let's see if we can interact. There's a turkey leg in this one. Another turkey leg. 
it's just a bunch of turkey legs. I thought it was going to be like my family or something. Okay. So, did my family get turned into turkey legs? Okay. Um, that was a fun little game. I liked it. Um, like I said, made in two, two days for the game jam. So, it's really short. Um, but it got its point across. It was pretty cool. Um, that, that's pretty much all I have to say about that one. So, next game. Alright guys, so here we have Moe's Body Shop. I didn't read the description about this one, so obviously you can tell it is a haunted PS1 game. Um, this is available on Itch.io as well, and it's free to download. All the all the uh, games in this were free to download, um, but as always, you can name your price if you feel so inclined to toss the developer some money. Um, so let's jump into this one and see what it's about. I like how the ESRB rating is uh, T for trash. <laughs> Come and see. All right, we are in. So I always like the style of these um, haunted PS1 games. I think they're real cool. I guess we're just following the road until we come across a nose body shop, right? That horrible place keeps calling out to me. I can't ignore it anymore. Alright, well let's go. Let's go see what it's all about. The door to the basement had never opened before. I can't help but feel it open for me. Here we are. Moe's Body Shop. Nobody's home. Alright, well, that was the game, guys. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>
That was some good ass music. Felt like I was at a rave. Alright, I got it. Is there more? Is there another? G oh, okay. So I'm a, I'm a dumbass. I think I gotta find the generator now, maybe. Or can I just leave? Nope. Ah! Oh shit! Did I die? Did he just smack me and instant kill me? I can hear him. It sounds like he's behind me. Sorry, you can probably hear me bashing. Bashing the keys. Can I get out now? Nope. He's still behind me. How many of these are there? Oh shit, there he is. Ah! Bye bye. Alright, we got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Shit. He's just stalking me from the back the whole time. So I feel like it should be somewhere over here because there was two on the left side. I got that one though. Oh, okay. So I only needed three. Be not afraid. I am the angel of the abyss. Abaddon. I called many and none made it past him. Except for you. That traitorous insect betrayed me and locked me in this cage. Mo was useful making creatures for my purpose, but realized his folly and locked me away. But now you have freed my wrath. Come and see. And that was Mo's body shop. So was Crazy Mo just trying to like keep me away from Abaddon the whole time? Or was that one of the creatures that he made? Uh, who knows? But either way, I liked it. I liked Mo's body shop. The music was fucking awesome. Um, I love these haunted PS1 games. I love the retro style graphics. Um, I'm actually probably going to download. They just released something. Um, I think there might be like around 20 games or something. And it's all Christmas themed, I believe. Um, so I'm probably going to download that and play some throughout this month since, since it is December. Um, so <clears throat> the first game, uh, Death Circus, I think it's called. Circus of Death, Death Circus, something like that. Um, it was cool. You know, I enjoyed it. They're working it out. Uh, 
they're obviously aware of some of the bugs and stuff. It is an early access, so I'll keep an eye out on that one. Um, the Cabin was a fun little short horror game. I enjoyed that. I like the Snowman Killer, and I'm just going to assume that I was turned into a turkey leg at the end of that game, and the other five boxes were my family that were also turned into turkey legs. So, uh, and then Moe's Body Shop, you know, I just gave you my opinions. Really cool. Yeah, so that'll end this episode of uh, Random Horror Games. Let me know what you thought about the games in the comments. Um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I will be play playing plenty of more uh, Haunted PS1 games, Puppet Combo games, anything I can find on Steam or Itch.io that uh, looks good to me. I'm also possibly going to play um, Visage. I've heard a lot of good things about that, so I might end up picking that up, and that might be our next, um, like, episodical series. So yeah, stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.